We had a couple of legal rulings in the case. The judge agreed that it could go forward even though uh, the state and Milwaukee County tried to get it dismissed. And he also certified it as a class action so that I was representing every single person who was in family care through the Milwaukee County Managed Care Organization. And that was great because then I had access to a lot of information. I was able to get uh, accounting information from the state. Um, and um, you heard about the capitation process. And the capitation process is they started out with, well, what did it cost to take care of a whole bunch of people with disabilities under the old system? That what was the Medicaid budget for long-term care? And then actuaries, that is, smart people who've studied the science of figuring out these types of rates, looked at all of those and were supposed to come up with what's a fair amount to pay to the Milwaukee County Managed Care Organization that will then cover everybody on average. And unfortunately, you remember that the other slide, about 20% of the money we send down there is going to get used up in the care management process and administration. So the question is, what 80% of what is going to be able to provide enough services for everybody? Um, we got like a dozen huge bankers boxes full of the computations, the emails between the Department of Health Services and these actuaries. Um, and one of the things that's just maddening is the amount of it, how much of it is not science. Because we see an email saying, you know, uh, what about people with developmental disabilities who have this or that characteristic or who also have this kind of disability? Uh, the actuaries would just flat out ask people at DHS, you know, do you think their acuity is going to go up or down? Do you think there's going to be more of them or less of them? Then there'd be emails all around within DHS asking, does anybody have an idea about this? And then sooner or later somebody would respond and there'd be an answer like, uh, yeah, we think the acuity is going to go down and the number is going to go whatever side it is. And so the problem is when you're hearing about capitations and, and I'm sure uh, that the actuaries are doing what actuaries do, but then there are always policy adjustments. And the biggest policy adjustment we found was emails that said, yeah, maybe that's what it costs to take care of people, but we aren't gonna be able to sell that to the legislature, so come up with a lower number. And so from the very beginning, it, people at DHS knew there wasn't going to be enough to go around in these certain categories. And so that's what's played out over time all across the state. Um, the, so uh, how did the Milwaukee County lawsuit go? As I told you, we looked at capitation stuff, learned a lot about uh, uh, capitation. Um, also, um, I hired an accounting firm to go look at all the financial statements of all the providers that worked for Milwaukee County Managed Care Organization. And guess what? Lots of them are going broke. And they're, they're hanging in there, they're saying, um, maybe things will look up, maybe things will get better. Um, and Basically, the bigger providers that have accounting departments and CFOs knew when they were going broke and knew when to discharge people and knew when to change programs. But smaller providers, the people operating two CBRFs or people taking care of a few people and their uh, clients in their home, they are going broke. They're actually people who are uh, running a couple of uh, group homes who are master charging some money so that they can pay their staff. Well, how long is that going to last? Um, and so, once again, it was an indication that they're just uh, that the capitation rate just wasn't enough to provide services to everybody that Milwaukee County was supposed to serve. Um, and so, what basically happened in the lawsuit was that. Um, Milwaukee County got a huge rate increase from the state and turned around and was able to raise provider rates and straighten out the issues. Um, and I guess that is the question as we go forward in all of these 
managed care organizations across the state. Um, is it the managed care organization or is it the state computation of how much money they're going to get? And so that's what comes up as we talk about everything uh, from now on.